Good morning. My guest today is the Speaker of the House, Charles McCall. Good to see you, Mr. Speaker. Scott, good to be with you. Hey, um, these, you, all these folks are coming back to town this week That's in right. November. One week. That's unusual. For those who are not familiar with what's about to happen with this special session, tell us what, Speaker of the House, you see happening this week, what the topics are. Well, the topics are in the call that the governor issued, which will be uh, redistricting of, of both the state maps and the congressional districts for the next 10 years in accordance with the Constitution and the U.S. Census data that was delivered to the states um, late this year uh, in August. So those maps uh, will conclude our year-long process in uh, taking public input uh, applying those uh, census numbers uh, to uh, here in the state. Its growth was 5.5% over the last 10 years. Uh, our population is a little over 3.9 million people now. So we have to redistrict according to those, uh, that increased population and where that population exists in the state. And you have to. I mean, that's something that has to be done every that's 10 years. Absolutely. Some people are not happy with. Andy Moore, who was on last week, says, we just don't like the way this looks. People are not, you've got all these folks that are not in the Oklahoma City area anymore. They're saying things about the congressional race. Your response to those folks who are looking at this and going, there's something wrong. Oh, well, once again, the process was, was very robust this year. And what the legislature um, focused on is setting up a process that would engage the public. We had several town halls across the state over the period of roughly 12 months, taking that input from the people on what they believe the district should look like. That's, that is the process for redistricting uh, in the state of Oklahoma. It's, it's, it has nothing to do with uh, political information. Uh, when you start talking about political uh, drawing lines based upon political preferences, that's when you get into gerrymandering, and that's what we've avoided in this process. So that's what's in it this week. What's not in it is also ha has some eyebrows raised. Mandates against man it's, it's just so confusing to us. People want more added to this session. But the legislature's already addressed this, haven't they? Yes. Uh, there, there is a group um, and some folks ver across our state and uh, that are uh, concerned about the federal ma vaccine mandate. And rightly so. It is federal overreach. We are... We hear them. We've, uh, we're going to stand up and protect the people. We're not, we're, we're not going to let them lose their jobs over a vaccine a mandate. The, uh, wisely, the legislature already addressed this issue. We don't need a special session on it. Uh, we addressed it by the path, through the passage of House Bill 1236, which uh, exercises our rights under, under the Tenth Amendment, the U.S. Constitution, to uh, push back on federal overreach. We've, uh, we've empowered the, the Attorney General's office uh, with uh, legislation to do so, and we've actually, and we put $10 million behind it in the budget. I want to commend uh, Attorney General John O'Connor for his uh, quick action once those rules dropped. The, injunction, the uh, lawsuit was filed. Uh, one of the federal courts has already issued an injunction on this, so at, at this time, we're uh, things are working just like they should. And the reality is litigation is the fastest path uh, to stop this federal overreach. Uh, and we were I'm very proud of the legislature for moving that bill through uh, session earlier uh, this spring. Got about 30 seconds. Uh, the infrastructure bill has passed the Congress. Mm -hmm. Broadband is one of your highest priorities. About 15 seconds. Are we still on course in terms of improving broadband in Oklahoma? Absolutely. Uh, making great progress. And uh, these uh, infrastructure uh, dollars, as well as the, uh, the ARPA funds that are flowing to the state, I believe broadband will be one of the high priorities. It certainly has been policy-wise uh, for the legislature. Speaker Charles McCall, thanks for being here. Scott, my pleasure. Good to see you. Happy Thanksgiving. See this again at news9.com slash your vote counts to follow me on Twitter at Mitchell Talks.